Okay, hello everyone. This is Caroline and today is July 7th, uh, 2013. And the topic is money, 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 money. <laughs> Uh, my goodness, uh, what a confusing uh, topic. It is uh, a huge topic. That's why we have a huge crowd today, of course. And we are still struggling with this topic. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here with all the confusion and the releases and the um, reprogramming. We're still confused. Um, and having a lot of issues with money. And I'm hoping that today we will bring a little bit more clarification, more clarity as to why we are still struggling with this topic. If we don't have clarity, then therefore, uh, obviously, we cannot resolve the problem because we don't know what the problem is. <laughs> so, we're going to uh, try to have a little bit more clarity on uh, the topic in general and, and also try to identify our unique connection with this topic. Uh, and obviously, we are uh, working for the collective consciousness because we know that this is not an individual issue. Everyone pretty much uh, has uh, an issue with money and abundance on the earth. We hear it every day uh, in the news, um, everywhere. People are struggling because of money. And uh, so it's kind of crazy because, you know, we don't really understand what money really is. Uh, we know that it uh, brings a lot of problems and headaches, but we have a hard time grasping this concept. And like I said, until we do, we cannot um, master it. We cannot deal with it properly. So um, I'm just going to begin by just sharing a little bit of, you know, a few insights here and there. And yes, I am recording. So if you miss any points, you can go back to what we are talking about. Uh, I'm going to do a little intro here as I normally do. And then we'll do a little exercise. And of course, I want to introduce you to something that I have created that I'm hoping will facilitate uh, this whole process of money, dealing with money. So let's begin by, you know, defining what money really is. You know, it's, it's supposed to be this thing that facilitates an exchange between two people, two companies, two entities or what have you. But really, it's actually, uh, it's, it's such a vague thing. You know, when we think we have money, we have, uh, let's say, $3,000 in our bank account, uh, or 10,000 or 500, it doesn't really matter. We see it as a number um, in our checkbook or in our statement. But you know, it's like, do you, we don't really have that money as in physical money. Do you think that the bank keeps a drawer, uh, you know, for each one of us with our name on it, you know, with the stack of cash, you know, the $3,000 are sitting right there or the 10,000 or the 500, what have you. It's just a number, you know, we are looking at this number and actually the actual value of this number, the actual money is floating around somewhere on the other side of the planet, you know, being used up for some, some other thing, you know? And so it's a very strange thing that these numbers, same thing with the stock market, you know, when we see all of these numbers going up and down and up and down, I mean, do you really think that this billions of dollars are physically moving from, you know, point A to point B or there, it's just numbers floating around and being exchanged. And we are sitting in the middle of all these numbers floating around and creating an illusion of danger, creating an illusion of something positive and something negative and something positive and something negative. So, you know, Willie's talking about ups and downs. Of course, we are being pulled up and down and right and left because we are in this big fog, this big illusion that now there's money, now there isn't. Now there's money, now there isn't. So, 
So uh, that's why it's so confusing. That's why there's this huge confusion around this topic. And um, this confusion gets worse when it's multiplied by the collective, by uh, many, many people also feeling overwhelmed and confused by the same thing. So it's very difficult on the individual basis to then come out of this fog, come out of this, uh, this, this major illusion. Another crazy uh, topic down here on Earth, um, a concept that I, I have a hard time um, grasping is that is this concept that um, money brings freedom and you know or that we have to if we have a job then we can have money therefore we have freedom and again to me it's it's kind of a, a strange concept because um, we we think um, that the government is supposed to give us jobs so that we can make money, so that we can pay rent, and so that we can buy things we want and live well. So if that's the case, then the government is like our employer, right? Because it's providing the jobs. We are using these jobs to make money, to earn money, to buy the things we want to buy. And then we are being told what to do with this money by the government, of course. You know, the taxes go here and these go there. And if you don't, you get penalized and so on and so forth. So it's kind of a strange concept that the government is facilitating the process of earning money. And yet we have to owe them back a certain amount this way or that way. Otherwise, you know, it doesn't work and so on. So, so I don't see where the freedom is. It's, it's, to me, uh, I am being given or I'm being offered the opportunity f uh, for employment, but then I have to uh, live or, or use uh, this, um, this job uh, according to very, very strict rules. Otherwise, um, uh, otherwise it doesn't work. So to me, it's another form of manipulation, another form of control. I don't see any freedom in this system, honestly. So here's another uh, confusing point about money because we are still stuck on the idea that um, the day that we have um, jobs, the, the day that unemployment, um, uh, the, the day that everyone is employed, we will be free, we will be happy. To me, that's another huge illusion. Um, that to me, that is not how we are going to free ourselves from this big monster, <laughs> this big illusion that we call money. So, so, so that's why it is such a confusing um, topic and a confusing, vicious circle, and we find ourselves continuously waiting for uh, someone else to. Um, uh, to, to free us, to bring us that freedom through the money. When the economy is better, same thing as when the government gives us jobs, the same topic, then we will be happy, we will be free, we will buy all the things uh, we want. Uh, and so uh, that's the reason why I think we are, we are not coming out of this vicious uh, circle and we are stuck. Seriously, this society is, is stuck in this big illusion and in this big fog. And in addition to this, all these perceptions, all these um, belief systems about money, that money brings freedom, money brings um, uh, this and that, is creating an aura is creating a consciousness to this thing we call money. We are making this thing, this big fog, hugely powerful. We are saying, until I have it, I will not be happy. Unless I have this amount, I will not be free. Unless I, I earn this much, I cannot do this, I cannot do that. So this means that this huge fog, this huge thing that we call money is extremely powerful because it controls you, it controls your material life, it controls even your integrity. How many times have you or someone you know found yourself choosing the thing that is cheaper because it is cheaper, not because it's aligned with who you are, but because it's cheaper. 
How many, or maybe you know people, again, I'm generalizing here, but we know very well that if we have, uh, we go somewhere, we choose the option that has a free lunch attached to it as opposed to one where you pay your way for lunch because of the word free, 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 free. So this is a reflection, um, this is an example of how this money, money, money is controlling who we are. It's controlling our integrity. We are forgetting that we are powerful creators. We are forgetting who we really are. We are choosing to buy things, to uh, attract things because of the, this number that's attached to it, not because of the consciousness that is um, connected to it or the consciousness that is relevant to who we are. And to me, this is the issue. This is the problem. This is the reason why I'm doing this webcast today, because it's one thing to have a block, you know, we have, you know, different kinds of blocks and this and that. But when this block takes over who you really are, when this block uh, takes over your true identity, your true integrity, your true ability to create then we got a real issue as far as I'm concerned. So that's the reason why I'm hoping that with the work that we're doing today, we continue to do, we will find a way to return to who we really are. Nothing outside yourself can control you. This is another major, major, major misconception major, major illusion that this thing outside of you will bring you freedom. In fact, I'm sure you know one or two people who are very, very rich. They have tons of money, but seriously ask them, are you really free? Do you feel you are who you really are? You can be who you really are. Are you living your life to the fullest? Are you truly understanding your uh, universal self, your consciousness as a, an evolved being, and are you really free? I guarantee that most of the time, these individuals who have the money are not free. So this huge misconception is what's keeping us stuck. And you will know that you still have a problem with money if it triggers something in you. Uh, you know that if there is no trigger, you have finally mastered this topic. So for example, take a moment to notice when you are, when you receive a bill, okay? Like you receive some bill, electric bill or any kind of bill. You receive this bill and you have to write a check. How do you feel? You can type it in or uh, raise your hand. So how do you feel when you have to uh, write a check a write, a pay a bill, any bill. Uh, so David's saying it depends on who it is for. Okay. Uh, Daniel is saying, I feel scared when I have to pay my bill. Okay. So Elena saying, I feel disgust, like having to do something. Kim is saying, I feel like it's, it's another chore to do. Okay, Renee saying, I feel anxious. Carolyn saying, I feel squeezed and anxious sometimes. Um, uh, David saying, if it's for the government, then not great. Okay, Roland's saying, choking. All right, some people are saying, reasonably okay, like a machine, but not negative. Okay, so, so here's the thing. Do you realize that every time you have to pay a bill and you don't feel good, then there is an energy that is attached to this creation? Because you see, when you are paying a bill, of course, it's not about the bill, it's not about the money, it's about creating. You are creating something and you are co-creating with that person that just sent you a bill. And so, so, so every time you have this anxiety or this confusion or frustration or what have you, you are attaching that uh, energy to the, the creation that you are, you are doing. And so um, what if you receive, for example, um, not just a bill, but like, for example, let's say, um, 
let, let's let's talk about like something else actually let's see some people are still typing in um okay some people are saying i still have to pay it but i don't want to pay it okay so it depends how much money <laughs> okay, here we go all right so the amount is is a huge uh huge factor here so uh, the, somebody else is saying, if it's the water company, I feel dependent on them. Some people are saying, I feel okay most of the time. All right, so, you know, the, most people are saying there's anxiety, there's frustration, it depends who it's for, and so on and so forth. So the point that I'm trying to make here with this little exercise is that uh, it's never about the money. It's about what you are creating, what energy you are giving off, you are sending. Uh, that is the energy that will come back to you. See, that's the, that's the point. Now, uh, let me ask you this. What if you receive a lot of money? You receive money and uh, it's, it's not expected. It's just like you suddenly receive, you open your door, there's a box there and there is uh, $10,000. What happens there? How do you feel? Willie's saying, I feel happy. David's saying, I feel happy. Everybody's happy. <laughs> okay, I feel happy. All right, appreciate unexpected gift. Dominique's saying disbelief. Most people are saying happy, surprised, happy, happy. Okay, I feel in control. Okay, so that's interesting because, um, okay, some people are saying good and go spend it, grateful. Uh, somebody's saying suspicious. All right, um, what a gift. Somebody's saying I feel undeserving, interesting. And most people are saying relaxed, happy, appreciative. All right, uh, I feel I have attracted it. And so in general, again, we're generalizing here. When we see the money, when we find the money, we are happy. But we, when we have to give the money, again, we're in general, we're talking here, we are not happy. So if you understand that money in itself is just a form of energy, it's not an actual physical thing uh, that is good or bad. It's just a, an energy by itself. And so it's interesting that when you have to give it, it doesn't feel good. But then when you receive it, it feels good in a sense. So um, the problem with, with, with this is that there's still a sense of mm, unbalanced. It's not balanced because you see, if your relationship with money were balanced, then whether you give or you receive, it should have the same energetic exchange. It should feel relatively the same way. Do you understand? Because it's all about creating. If you are creating and sending out a signal of anxiety or what have you, then you also will receive that in return. And that is the reason why most of the time you will not open your door and find a box there containing $10,000. Uh, because the energy that you are sending out as you are giving money is the one that you are receiving, you see? So that's the first confusing block that's out there. So we're going to um, continue clarifying this uh, a little bit. And until we truly, truly understand the dynamic of giving and receiving, because that's the bottom line, is it's about giving and receiving. It's not really about the money itself. The money itself, like I said, it's this big fog, this big illusion. It cannot control you. What can control you, what you, it's your, is yourself, it's your own ability to create. So the bottom line is, is how you are creating. You can control how you create. And so you have to get yourself to full control of your ability to create. That's how you're going to be totally free from money or for anything from that matter that's outside yourself. Does that make sense? So in other words, uh, Laura is saying that makes sense, but isn't it easier to pay, give without anxiety? Is there 
is there if that is an, if there is enough i'm not sure i understand what if there is enough the idea is that uh, you have to dissociate yourself from uh, that consciousness that is controlling you in other words you have to focus on your ability to create your ability to give and receive that you can control because that is you and so if you master that then you will master the ability to give and receive therefore you will master anything that associated with that meaning you will master money and abundance for that matter so christina is saying however when you give money to the state that is going to be misused doesn't that influence the way you feel about giving of course it does but that's what we're talking that's why we are talking about this so um the idea is this uh, let's say you don't believe of course who does at this point uh we don't believe in general that, you know, we're paying taxes and the government does whatever they want with that money, right? So it doesn't feel good in that sense to give it. But no matter what, unless you get yourself to feel good, then you are associating yourself with that. And it doesn't mean that you agree. You have to... You have to be, we have to be very careful here, uh, understanding what I'm trying to, to describe. It doesn't mean that if you feel good about giving this money that you agree with what, how the government is using it. It only means that the energy that you are associating with giving is the one that's al uh, aligned with yourself. And see, for example, let's say you have to pay at the end of the year, I don't know, $2,000 and that is uh, in taxes, okay? But it doesn't feel good because you know that your $2,000 are going to, you know, uh, build some weapons or some, some things like that. But when you, when you write the check not feeling good, then this money is going to have its own it's going to go and have whatever it's it's a uh, its own um, momentum if you will and you are allowing it to have its own impact on society the way you believe it's going to you see but if you find a way to change your create your creative ability and to shift your consciousness so what's going to happen is that you will find a balance within yourself that allows you to feel good about giving this money so that you associate your creative power to your 2,000 euros, $2,000. And as you write this check, then these 2,000 euros, $2,000 will have a different effect. Do you understand? Does that make sense? So th does that mean that you, that, you are, uh, that you have to suddenly believe in what the government is going to do with it? No, but you see, if you do this and I do this and she does this and everyone in our society does the same thing, understand that you are creating. You are not allowing somebody else's creation to take over yours, you see. That's the thing. That is how you're going to impact the effect of that money you're giving. Does that make sense? Uh, so, uh, is this so? Then it's a trap, isn't it? Well, it's not a trap. Oh, I don't understand what you mean by trap. It's quite the opposite. You are creating every time you think and every time you attach your consciousness to something. So. Your creation, if it's if it is uh, if it is the same as what the government is doing, if you're saying, "Oh my God, you know, my money is going to go for for this uh, awful purpose or whatever," then it is going to this awful purpose. You, you understand? But if you say, "I am shifting my consciousness," I don't agree with how the the government is, but I am choosing to uh, monetize uh, the government in a new way I'm, uh, and myself and this society in a new way. I am charging, I'm putting all the consciousness about this money that I am giving. It's my money, right? I am giving it a charge of freedom. I'm giving it a charge of love. I'm giving it a charge of this or that. First of all, you're going to feel a lot better writing this check. And second, I guarantee that your $2,000 is going to come back in a very positive way in your life very soon. Does that make sense? And do you understand the difference between, uh, between 
your ability to create, how that is going to change the momentum and the effect of money. And that is what the work that we're going to do uh, today is about. That way you are in control, you are in charge, you are your own creator. You're not just kind of floating around, first of all, uh, adding to the anger and the frustration and the confusion of everybody else that's paying their taxes. On the contrary, you are holding your space, your understanding, your belief system within the fog and creating a new consciousness of money. Does that make sense? And, and so, so um, Michelle is saying, but the money is fog. How does it work that my creation accompanies it? No, again, like I said, you're not accompanying it. You forget about the fog. You change your perception and your belief system about the $2,000 that you have to give. Unless you do that, you are adding to the negative effect and impact of this giving. Does that make sense? It is so huge. Do you realize that unless you do this, you will not be able to master your own creation? But like I said, if each one of us, think about this, if each person starts to create from this place, then first of all, the fog will dissipate. Because first of all, we will stop believing that, you know, the government is going to come save us or this, this thing's going to save us or this thing's, gonna, the, the, you know, the whole, all this illusion, something outside of our being is going to save us. We are going to save us, you see. So that is the huge, huge understanding, uh, and that is the, the, the main uh, pur um, purpose of you being here, is for you to reclaim your ability to create and have mastery and control over your own creation. I guarantee, I promise you, if you are able to shift your perception, your belief system, Every time you give money, whether you agree with why it's being given or this or that, you will change the way you receive money. It will flow. It will be easy. It will be absolutely uh, a no issue. And you will be changing the consciousness uh, of creating abundance on the earth every time you do so. All right, Dominic's saying, I totally understand what you're saying. I'm changing my attitude about money giving now uh, as you speak. Makes so much sense. Um, I've always loved giving money when I have it um, to good purposes in alignment with my highest good, but never had the same feeling with the government. Now I get that exactly. So, so that's that's the thing. And again, I'm, I'm repeating again, it doesn't mean we are agreeing with this. We are saying we are reclaiming our ability to create period. Okay. So here we go. Now we're saying this, we're gathered together and we have this, you know, supportive consciousness, but then, you know, we're going to hang up and then you're all going to go about your life. And then you're going to, you know, go back into this collective pool of con confusion and <laughs> illusion and, and this and that. And, you know, you're going to be dragged into the anger and uh, frustration again. So that's the reason why here we are um, coming to this clarity and this agreement. But we're going to have to do a little bit of reprogramming because, like I said, you've been pulled into uh, this, uh, this, this fog uh, for so long that it's going to be difficult uh, for you to, to hang on uh, once we finish with this call. So Laura is saying, but how do I change the anxiety around paying the 2,000 euros? Okay, well, that's what we're going to work on. The, the first thing is for you to have the clarity on how you feel when this bill is there. Every time you are doing something, it doesn't matter. In fact, let's choose something, you know, uh, anything. For example, taking your kids to school. 
How exciting is that? I don't know. Or doing laundry or something. How exciting is that? You know, it doesn't really matter. So my point is we are allowing money to be something a lot bigger than going doing your laundry or, you know, in fact, it doesn't have to be because you know what? You are the same person. The same creator that's go going every day to take your kids to school is the same one that has to pay the bills. So how come when you take your kids to school, you're like, okay, whatever, I got to do it, but it's fine. I'm totally fine with it. But then when it comes to money, you are helpless, you're confused, you're frustrated, you're absolutely uh, this victim to this big thing that's outside of you that controls you. There's all these other people who are better than you, better off, off and this and that. And there's all this stuff that comes up. So what happened? What happened to you? What happened to you? Why can you be okay with one chore and not okay with the other? The point is, it is not about the chore. The point is about you. You are the creator. You are the creator. So you master your material life by understanding how you create. So when you are in uh, doing this chore, and in fact, you should get yourself to a higher alignment no matter what the chore is, even doing your laundry, even doing grocery shoppings or what have you. So you don't send it out to the world unless you get yourself to this aligned place. You raise your vibration, you do a connection, and you clear, 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 whatever comes up. If you have anxiety, clear it. In fact, that's what we're going to do. But on a daily basis, uh, Laura just asked a question. That's how you do it. You don't write the check until you feel 100% okay. So anxiety, you clear it. Frustration, you clear it. Sadness, clear it. Um, injustice, victimhood, you know, whatever you feel as you're writing the check, is the thing that you have to clear. It's actually very simple. Okay, so Edward is saying, I received a bill which was not correct. I have to pay the services I did not receive and I do not want, and I do not want. What do I do? Now, again, don't forget also, not only are you a creator, but you are a co-creator. So there's a reason why in this particular case, that particular person made a mistake. Why? So uh, I know from experience myself, <laughs> a lot of the times people would make a mistake to engage in a connection with you. I'm not saying that's your case. I'm just saying you always bring it back to the laws of the universe. Either you are a creator or you are not. Either we co-create or we don't. We don't stop creating, becoming powerful creator only with the topic of money. We don't stop, the universe doesn't stop being a co-creator only on the topic of money. And so in this particular case, when there's two things involved and you think one person is right or you're wrong or he made a mistake, or why have you co-created this particular thing with this particular person? You'll be very surprised the type of thing that will come up for you. So before you pay the bill, before you do anything, you get yourself to a perfect fine place that, that you are comfortable place, uh, that you are comfortable with. And so you, you um, uh, acknowledge that um, this is a co-creation and you see what has come up and why, and you will be quite surprised why this person actually that I can see very clearly, uh, it's, it's quite interesting, it's, it's a lesson, it's a, an understanding that you need to get to yourself. Does that make sense? basically what I'm saying in one word. You are the creator and you have to bring everything back to this point of departure of this powerful uh, energy that you are. All right. Dominique saying, we are a victim to this big controlling thing because of this collective consciousness. I was told as a child that the government will always come and get you. And the harder you work, the more they take away from you. Therefore, the more you try to get ahead, the more they will kick you down. This is what gets triggered. So I will clean this. <laughs> okay, welcome new money consciousness. Yay. Okay, fine. So again, you know, we're not going to kind of... Um, 
keep repeating whose fault it is. Because honestly, uh, this is actually the opposite of what I've been saying the last half hour. As soon as you say it's the government, it's this, it's some, you know, the separation, this and this and that, you are focusing outside yourself. You are not <laughs> dealing with the problem and you are not freeing yourself. You don't free yourself until you go back to who you really are. Who you really are is an infinite creator. That is an infinite consciousness that can create infinite potentiality, period. So as soon as we are pointing fingers and saying this and this and because of this, you are delaying the issue and uh, that is that. Okay. What about recreating our own money energy from scratch? Any comment? Okay, so, um, uh, yes, so, so you can, we can, and some people are working on that. And we are creating, when we are coming up, uh, we are actually creating different systems, which I'm going to share uh, with you. I've created one system for now, and there are different ways we can start to function. Um, so let me just get to that. Daniel is uh, saying, great observations about money. Thank you for sharing. This is a huge issue. Okay, good, good, good. Um, it feels like the amount in my bank account is part of the energy field, like it's part of my identity. And because of, because of that, I've always feel that I am a lack, I'm restricted. Again, this is, this is, these are the, uh, the things that you have to change, these belief systems that you have to change, that you are stuck because of this, because of him, because of that, or what have you. Joyce is saying the insurance company withdrew more money than they should, and I'm having a hard time getting the money back. What, why did this happen? This is the same as that person who just got a bill that was wrong. And get used to this, uh, my dear friends, because uh, like I said, it is always about creation, about co-creation. So ask yourself, why did this happen with this particular person or this particular entity? Understand that when you connect to source, you are bringing the flow of source through you. So you know, even insurance company, even the bank will create some sort of an excuse to, you know, have you focus on them through this very annoying little thing. And so that you can bring the consciousness of source to this particular individual or the consciousness of insurance company, you see. So in the meantime, you're kind of saying, wait a minute, I didn't sign up for this. I don't want to be the vehicle for, you know, uh, and, and in the meantime, I have to struggle and make phone calls and write letters. That doesn't seem right. But you know what? If you understand that you are the vehicle of source, you have to trust that you are the ambassador of source. You are being given the opportunity to bring source to people. How are we going to change the consciousness on the planet? How, how do you think this new paradigm is going to be born if all we're doing is... Uh, is, uh, is, is going from a place of frustration and anger and victimhood and going at those people we have just created the situation with. We're not resolving anything at all. So that's another, uh, hopefully this will help uh, the folks who are finding themselves stuck in some sort of uh, unfair billing and so on and so forth um, because um, you, uh, as soon as you bring it back, to an issue of co-creation, you will realize that you may be shifting uh, this, the entire consciousness of this person, this entity, or the insurance company on a global level. You know, when you look at it from that perspective, when you just allow yourself to be that vehicle, to be that universal kind of um, funnel, if you will, this universal consciousness that is bringing source to the insurance company, to the bank, to the electric company, what have you, what you, uh, if you can just visualize that for a moment, you will really understand that you are playing a very important role on the earth through this very mundane uh, example of paying a bill, you see. And just that should give you some reassurance that you are being backed by the universe. The universe and source is not going to come through you and then just kind of, you know, leave you out 
cold, you know, to, to figure things out. You have to get yourself to uh, this universal consciousness. You are this universal consciousness. We've been doing these exercises so many, we've done them so many times the last few years. And for those who are new, because I do see some new names here, go back and do on the website, it's free of charge, speaking of free, <laughs> connecting to source. It is a meditation. It's an exercise, really, seven minutes. Put you in that flow of source right there. It is so easy. And it reminds you that you are uh, the vehicle. And unless you do that, how do you expect the insurance company consciousness, the consciousness of insurance company to ever change? Do you think that all of a sudden, like all these people, you know, the corporate folks who have been greedy and selfish and just not connected to anything and anyone, you know, do you think one day they're going to get up and say, oh, I'm just going to become, you know, uh, this, this really good person and I'm going to uh, change all my policies? It doesn't happen this way. It happens when they come in contact with source, which is you. You see, so that is how you're playing a major role in every area of this society, insurance company, banks, and so on and so forth through these little examples. Okay, all right, so let's move on real quick here. Um, and I would like to share with you uh, this little thing that I've created. So. First of all, let me know if you see my screen. And I'm going to Please let me know if you see my screen. Okay, perfect. Here we go. So, uh, I have created this uh this uh, system. It's called icocreate.net. And um uh, it is a platform to function without using money. It is simply an additional uh, platform that will help us focus on new ways of creating. Now, the concept itself of exchange is nothing new. They've been bartering systems forever and ever. So that's not what's new about this. What is new about this is the consciousness behind it and so I just will I just want to give you a very quick tour and you're gonna be able to go back uh, to it on your own it's called icocreate.net and um, what happens is that uh, I hope you like the little guys <laughs> uh, helping each other out but uh, icocreate is the, as a platform for gifting and exchanging goods and services is 100% free of charge to all users that's another thing that's different most uh, if not all I don't know um, exchange and bartering services and systems that are out there um, you 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 accumulate points and you pay commissions or whatever it's none of that is happening Happening here there's nothing I'm asking you for nothing in fact the webmaster when you know uh, we were creating this you know he said you know it doesn't make sense how, how are you gonna support this thing I said don't worry about it I, I know how I'm aligning my <laughs> my own energy it doesn't make sense at all uh, from from that perspective but and from another perspective, to me, it is uh, makes perfect sense. So anyway, this website is created to support others, meaning you, in their growth, their daily material life, is a new way to enhance altruistic spiritual awareness of unconditional gifting and trade. This website is an opportunity to function in a new paradigm structure based on free and voluntary exchange outside the complexity, mismanagement, confusion, frustration associated with the current monetary system. So basically, um, it is a platform for gifting and for exchanging. And um, let's see how it works. So what happens is that first you have to uh, have an agreement. For those who know me, understand that the agreement is the base of creation. It's not uh, the 20 page whatever agreement you sign with the credit card company. In fact, let's go to that real quick and see how that works. And um, I'd like you to feel, to tune into 
um, this, uh, the consciousness of what you are uh, seeing here on the screen uh, as you are reading. The co-creative agreement, first of all, it's a co-creation um, that I am involving myself uh, with others. Um, it is therefore my intent to enter this agreement in full honor, respect, and trust of others who are participating in this co-creative effort. So right there, we are changing the dynamics of what is happening because it is getting you to look at it from a place of creation, of co-creation, and an invitation to attract your match. I understand that I co-create as a platform and an opportunity to function in a new paradigm structure. You see, because we keep complaining that the monetary system doesn't work. Okay, well then, let's do something else. This is another structure. Let's see if we have the ability, the maturity, the whatever you want to call it, um, to, to function outside of it. And of course, uh, we have to be realistic. I don't know the, the hosting company or the website company obviously are not there yet. So, but <laughs> we can still uh, get uh, at least, I believe, 50% of our material life functioning outside the material, uh, the, the current monetary system, if we just try. 50% is pretty amazing. Think about having everything uh, in your life, half of it exchanged with no money, uh, no actual uh, men, money at all. And uh, of course, with time, uh, a new monetary system can be created that is in alignment with, with consciousness uh, at a different level. But for now, I believe this platform uh, can hugely um, uh, enhance your awareness of how you co-create and facilitate a lot of, uh, a lot of things for you. Um, number three, I intend to offer only those services and or goods that are in alignment with others' highest good. Um, all material object will be in proper working condition and service, higher, highest quality. Because you are engaging in a co-creation, like I said earlier, what you are giving, you are receiving. I, entreat, I intend to treat others as I wish to be treated throughout this process. All actions that I take in relation with this co-creative um, system exchange will be based on love, truth, beauty, goodness. And finally, I take full responsibility for my own actions. So, you know, as you can see, you, you can read this on your own. Um, it is, um, we, we're still changing some things here, but um, it, you, will, you will understand and feel how this works. So number three, um, you can, the way it works is you put your information, your city, your, where you are located, because if you're looking for, let's say, a babysitter, you know, we kind of, uh, you need to tell us where you need to have that service so that the system can match you. So you select a service or a goods you wish to give or exchange and the system this this the platform will match your entry with others looking for the same items the system can find and connect three individuals or group in order to create a perfect match for example joe is looking for a babysitter and wants to gift a physical therapy session pam is looking for a therapy physical therapy session and wants to gift a couch uh, but Mary needs a couch and would love to babysit Joe's children. Perfect triad match. So in other words, it doesn't have to be only two people. It's three and more down the road. We're still developing this system. Once the system matches what you are asking for, and what you're looking for, and what you want to give, and by the way, it could be simple gratitude. That's the idea of this website too, is you'll receive an email telling you, hey, this person is a perfect match for you. You can contact them and like kind of like Craigslist, if you guys know how that works. From that point on, you can do your, your exchange in that way. And... Um, then you can participate and just kind of you create an account that is so easy uh, so um, so simple to use and here you have for example uh, ah, somebody just used it <laughs> here you have the the running co-creations we you know like let's say you have people from Apodon Netherlands uh, looking for for this you can click on it and see what happens you can also once you are logged in let's see I think I created an account 
uh, uh, let me see. Once you have an account and you go in, you can you can uh, search for all sorts of what's out there. You can click on search, and you know you can uh, see what you're looking for, what you're offering, and who in this area has that. You can also do it this way, or just wait to receive the email, and the system will connect you with those people. So, so here it is. Uh, that is the gift <laughs> of the day. Um, I feel that uh, this also will connect people, will bring people together in a new type of way. Now, sometimes, uh, or most of the time, I don't know, or whatever, um, you know, the geographic location doesn't have anything to do with it like for example if you're looking for um, computer graphics or something that the person doesn't have to be living there but if you're looking for um, if you're looking for uh, business services you need translation or, or something else sorry uh, if you need somebody to babysit your your kids then the geographical location is important so this is taken into account here and that's how this whole system works so uh, that is uh, this new creation. Like I said, we have just uh, put it out there um, and we are going to continue to update and uh, we're going to continue to add to uh, the categories. For example, you see here you have all sorts of uh, things that could be available. But just in case, for example, you have something very particular or very uh, um, special that we didn't think of or something, just email us, for example, at workbooks, DVDs, furniture, healthcare products, all sorts of stuff. Everything is, I mean, uh, that we can think of is already in here. But if we missed something, just send us an email. We're going to continue to update uh, this website on a daily basis and offer more and more uh, tools and things like that so and the idea like I said is before we know it not only um, can we begin to attract things without uh, any money whatsoever we said we don't like the money system so yeah, hey you know here it is uh, let's why let, let's try it um, and um, and um, uh, and let, let's see how, how it goes. Email us for now at office at omniumuniverse.com uh, and uh, if you have any questions. But in the meantime, it is open. Um, and uh, the idea also is that we will begin to... Um, uh, we will begin to also find our, uh, create our communities in that way. Um, before you know it, we will, uh, the system will match people who are in the same area functioning at that level. And like I said, if you can get, and I totally believe that, 50% uh, of your current material life covered uh, and functioning outside the current monetary system, working at this level of consciousness, um, I think it's very feasible. It's available right now. There's no excuse. Um, so let's do it. You know, let's just do it and uh, keep building from it. And uh, those who are working on, you know, the, the, the bigger functioning of society of other monetary systems and stuff like that, Eventually, it will all come together in this harmonious way. All right, so what do you think? What do you say? Um, let's uh, take some quick questions and comments, and then we're going to do some uh, a beautiful exercise. Okay, so let's see here. David from Canada. I just joined. Great work, Caroline. So that was easy. Tell us, David, uh, if you have a microphone, tell us if it was easy to find your way or or what, I mean, what is the, let me see, if you have a microphone, raise your hand here. Here you are. David, hi. Hey there. How you doing? Good. How did it go um, for you? Yeah, it was really easy to join. I just, you know, it took like a minute and a minute. And now I'm going to uh, go back and List what I'm offering and what I'm looking for, and yeah, I'm excited for this. Awesome! And, yeah, uh, way to go. And so easy. It took him a minute. Uh, and uh, by the way, I I will begin uh, with offering. Um, 
almost everything that is on the website Omnium Universe. Um, so I have not, uh, I created a, a fake account to test, <laughs> to test the system. But uh, just for you to know, um, my belief in this and my commitment to this for you is, um, again, we have to be the pioneers of creating a new system. If we don't start here with this sort of consciousness, who's going to do it and when is it ever going to get done so i have started this um so i will like i said um i will put almost everything that's on the website available uh for uh, exchange for gifting in fact and i do gift quite a bit i think um and let's do it and let's see where we are in a week in in a, two weeks in a month and let's also create amazing communities functioning at that level all right Joyce is saying, uh, let me see, if you have uh, mics, uh, please uh, speak up so we don't, um, so I don't have to read everybody. Joyce, do you have a mic? Yes, I do. Hi. Hey. Uh, I'm Joyce. I'm from Canada. Uh, I have a question. Awesome. All right, you guys, uh, like I said, um, let me see. Daniel is saying, usually uh, around the login, there's a register button. Um, okay, just go ahead and do it, like I said. Um, you will see how easy it is. Like I said, David just did it in one minute. Um, and um, so, so Daniel's saying, is this site for Omnium people or anyone? Anyone. This is available to everyone on the planet. Like I said, there's no, we're not asking for anything. You guys, for those who really know me, uh, understand where this is coming from. There are new people who are just joining, you know, and that's okay. But, you know, I believe that uh, I'm here to to do things I believe in, and this is one thing I believe in. Well, you know, to me, the reward or whatever, if yeah, whatever is is uh, just uh, being able to support and shift the collective consciousness. So that translates into however it wants to translate. Um, this is simply my offering uh, to you, so it is available to everyone on the planet. So send it out. We're going to put it on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google, on everywhere. Um, Maria, Maria is saying there's a system that exists called Let's. I worked several years with that. The system has problem with comparing the works. Okay, well, we'll see if there's a problem. I don't think we have a problem. But like I said, if you, like I said, it's a new, uh, we just put it out. We tested it quite a bit. But there's always technical things that could happen. I don't know. We need your help to tell us, you know, hey, you know, this thing didn't work or something. We think we tested pretty much uh, a lot of it. But um, if you have any uh, suggestions or go uh, send us an email, there will be um, another contact. Uh, but for now, you can send it to uh, webmaster at omniumuniverse.com at any time. And we're going to continue to build this thing together. All right. So David's saying, I volunteer to promote this to my tribe, Caroline. Let's talk. Awesome. Fantastic. All right. Uh, like I said, uh, let's see where this goes. We're in this together. And, and okay, share it on Facebook. We're going to put it on Facebook. Like I said, today is the first day it, it's, it's been in beta. It is live now. So we are going to put it on Facebook. And please go ahead and share it with whoever you would like. And like I said, all the Omnium stuff will be um, up for exchange. Yes, do you have a question? Luke, your hand is up. Oh, yes. So I, I was in, I was the April the wrong one. Um, ah. <laughs> so the, the only thing I, I uh, felt was uh, when you want to, you search something you want to offer, um, it's a little bit difficult to find in which uh, rubric, in which uh, file it is. Yeah, which category, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, which category. So it would be nice if this, when it would be a search button or something. So yeah, but there is a search button, remember? Okay. There's a search button right here. Oh, uh, yeah, you can. 
yeah. <laughs> once you once you are no problem, no problem. But first you have to uh, be in the system so that you know it can find you. Uh, so um, all right, let's give you my love, David. Um, so what happens is that uh, if you want goods, you click on goods. If you want business services, obviously it's business. If you want uh, and under each one is all these categories, obviously that are listed. And so um, so that's how it works. There is a search button once you're in there. Have fun with this, and uh, we can it very um, like I said um, maybe you you will attract um, uh, okay let me see I'm getting messages it's functioning everywhere uh, Florence it's functioning all over the world it has this is a website so it, it is not uh, connected to one particular country or what have you and we you are going to be able to upload uh, photos and stuff but we are developing uh, these tools gradually and I want to tell you why because um, you know I don't know for those who know websites it's is um, there are certain things that that gets kind of complicated if you do them if you do everything at once we're doing things gradually but in the meantime uh, it is working and you can begin to have um, correspondence with the different people um, and start building those communities a little bit at a time all right so that is my offering of the day and um, it is live icocreate.net and um, uh, for uh, questions, comments, or technical problems, webmaster at omniumuniverse.com. I hope you like the little guys. Um, so here we go. Let us now finish uh, this wonderful connection that we have um, created today uh, with a very nice consciousness shift expansion. And... Um, reprogramming so that we can align our consciousness with a new paradigm creation new paradigm um, reality and um, more importantly bring everything back to our real core our real true essence who we really are so that we reclaim our ability to create as powerful creator nothing outside of us can be bigger than who we really are, can take over who you really are ever, ever. <laughs>